Good morning. My name is Ben Cooper, General Manager with Rainbow Tree Care. Excited to be here and be a part of uh, Rainbow Tree Care's virtual state fair and answer some questions uh, from, from homeowners about their trees. Uh, this question comes in uh, from Debbie in Maiden Rock. And she had a, a, a question, a concern about her oak trees. She believes that they may have oak wilt and wondering how to diagnose this and ultimately how to, to best manage it. And it's a great question, Debbie, and it's something uh, that um, many homeowners deal with here um, in our, our region. Uh, it is really important to have a uh, professional arborist um, diagnose any issue that you may have with your oak tree but uh, just a little bit of the background on, on how that would go is the first step is to identify what the actual uh, tree is. So there's four main oak trees in the state of Minnesota and also Wisconsin in our region. Uh, those are bur oak trees, white oak trees, we have pin oaks, and we have red oaks. And all four of them have, have their own separate issues. Um, so it's important to identify the host uh, before we can really get into uh, what the issue is. Um, if it is indeed oak wilt, uh, there are a number of management strategies that can occur. Uh, first and foremost is uh, removal of the infected tree uh, because the, the disease uh, continues its life cycle behind the bark of the infected tree it can infect other trees uh, next spring uh, through spore transfer, as well as through root transfer. So the fungus also moves through the roots of the tree. Uh, in order to mitigate that, uh, oftentimes root graft separation um, is something that would be recommended. So cutting roots uh, through the, the, the source of a vibratory plow um, three to five feet down in the soil and then ultimately uh, protection of those remaining trees that uh, surround uh, that area that aren't showing yet signs of infection. Um, and those can be injected with a, uh, a, a fungicide uh, to prevent further infection of, of other trees surrounding. So like I say, there are a lot of issues that um, show up and, and it's not uncommon for them to really show up right now um, in, in the tree species. So the best approach would really be to have a skilled arborist uh, come out to your property and make a good assessment, uh, collect samples, uh, send them into the U of M's diagnostic lab if required, and come up with the best management strategy from there. Thanks for the question.